Hi guys, this is Lana. Um, I was guided to record this audio um, channeling. This is a message for Twin Flames or Soulmates. And it's about um, the distant healing that has been occurring in the last uh, couple of weeks and days for some of you. Um, I had some energy healing sessions today and I was made aware of um, this uh, thing that is happening between the energetic bodies of the twin flames. So to give you a better idea of this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my dreams. I hadn't had uh, dreams about my twin flame or the twin flame collective for quite a while for like a month and that's like huge for me because I usually um, dream and I remember my dreams every single day so I knew that something was shifting in the energies and the first dream I had it was a dream about my divine masculine and I really felt guided today to share both of these dreams for you with you um, because I think they will give you some clarity. So in the first dream I had, um, I dreamt that I saw like the divine masculine and he was like standing right in front of me and I could see through his energy field and it was like looking into his soul and inside of his body and there was this like universe you know and I was very um, familiar with these images because like I said I am an energy healer energy worker um, I can see uh, the energetic fields of the body very clearly and feel them with my hands too so it was a lot like I, I would it was a lot like a healing but it was like an astral healing and I could see how inside the divine masculine there were these like cords between him and many other people and there were also cords between me and him and I could see how these cords with these other people that I assumed were the karmics um, they were like pulling on him in different directions and it was making our connection like the thread that was connecting me and him like um, like thinner right so in my dream I was kind of upset when I saw that and I remember telling him as if it were in the 3D but I remember looking him in the eyes and telling him this whole thing, these all these people that you're bringing in and all these things that are happening, they are affecting our union. They are delaying us from coming together. And it was sort of like a warning um, that I gave him. or It was n not like a warning. It was kind of like a heads up. So I feel like... Um, collectively the divine feminine has been intervening in until some degree and really helping the divine masculine de detangle or detach from this whole web of chaos and of people that he was um, or that he is still attached to but she's doing it through the energetic body, through the subtle bodies, and through the astral realm. So we can say in 5D. Um, but it was something very, very tangible and very real. And the message that I got for the collective is that almost all divine feminines right now are doing this. And especially if you're working on yourself, especially if you're doing these meditations... By the way, these two dreams that I will tell you about now, 
I had them the nights that I did my own meditation, the one that I posted on my channel. And I think it's really helping to shift the energies of the connection. And it really makes you or it allows you to do a more profound work and a more conscious work when you are um, working astrally. So if you haven't heard the meditation, I would recommend that you listen to it. It's free. It's on my channel. You can download it or you can just play it on your on your headphones before you go to sleep. And I think it will really help you to shift your energies and to assist your divine counterpart. So the second dream I had... Um, after this um it was actually yesterday and what i got from from the dream yesterday was i saw the divine masculines or the divine masculine um collective and they were literally like 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 a male body and they were like lying down in like this um the 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 place where i give uh healings usually i work at this um alternative uh therapy place and they were lying there on this like massage table and i was working on them energetically or working on him it was like one person and it was kind of like my divine masculine but it was like the divine masculine collective and while I was working on their energy body, I start, especially when I was like looking at the face and the eyes and I was working on the head, I felt a lot of tears coming to me. And I saw the divine masculine tearing up and like saying, and then he said to me that he didn't know why every time he was with me he would have these feelings and he would have all this pain come up and all these tears come up out of the blue and he didn't know why every time that he was around me he would like feel these tears come up his eyes and I remember looking down at, at him and saying that I knew because that same pain that he was letting out when he saw me when I was there I was like being this safe container but I was feeling at the same time I was feeling this pain the, his pain in my heart so I knew exactly how he was feeling because I was kind of tearing up as well but I was very calm the energy of the divine feminine is really was really calm really grounded really steady and the energy of the divine masculine was like it was kind of like a little kid like saying i don't understand why this is happening and why this is so difficult and kind of like putting himself in the hands of the divine feminine surrendering so i feel like it 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 has come to this place right now in the energies where many divine masculines are acknowledging the divine feminine and they are maybe not sure why they feel the way they feel when they are with the divine feminines but the reason that they run right and the reason that um you enter this separation phase is because you're healing things and the divine masculine has to come into his own knowing on his own account you as a divine feminine are there to help to assist but in no way will the soul of the divine masculine let you do his work for him or carry his burden for him that's something that we as divine feminines need to really understand that it's not the same thing to assist someone or to help someone 
Also, if you're a light worker or an energy healer or do any type of healing in your community or whatever, it's one thing to assist someone and to offer your help. And it's another thing to carry their burdens and make them yours. And that's what a lot of divine feminines, healers, light workers tend to do. So this is something that in the twin flame process, it hinders the process, it causes more delays. The divine masculine doesn't need or want you to fix him or to solve his problems for him or to heal him even. Because he has to know that he himself healed himself, right? That's how it works. And that's how it works with everyone, really. So you can help and you can assist until a certain degree. But through your own healing is the way you make the most progress. Through healing the parts of you that are desperately needing to heal or you know, like being in compassion with yourself and, and healing those parts that are maybe overgiving, overhealing, overdoing, over focusing, and redirect your energy to you. And that's what makes the magnetic pull. And also, if you heal yourself, you're automatically um, helping a part of your twin heal, right? So it's a very complex dynamic in in some degrees and the the more you are in the journey the more skill you need the more um mastery you need but that's that's the thing that's why it's like this this um this path and it's it's progressive right and and you continue to learn and to understand the dynamics and and you solve something and then you move like to another level and you advance and you advance and you keep going higher and higher. So I think um, what I've, I've also been, uh, what's also been coming through, um, through my guides and my angels is that the divine feminines, if you want to focus on something, there is this um, topic and there is this um, like theme that I have been seeing a lot in the Divine Feminine Collective, which is um, insecurities about their own body or troubles accepting their own uh, shapes or the way they look and um, difficulties embracing themselves and especially making this deep connection from the soul to the physical body and I talked about this a little bit in in a previous reading I think because it's a subject that is there like I feel like a lot of the divine feminines are sometimes more in tune with the astral planes with the 5d with other dimensions a lot of you are healers a lot of you are empaths and you're very connected to spirit but one of the things that are very very important is that we connect to our feminine power and that we connect to mother earth and to our feminine aspects on the three deep planes that we accept our body our sexuality our desires our needs our wants and that we really embrace ourselves as as if we were our own daughters as if we were the ideal mother of this perfect daughter that you are so I think um, solving these um, issues that you may be having in any way shape or form about your body um, I've seen also a lot of, of, of people of a lot of patients and a lot of um, divine feminines who have had eating disorders and that relates to the root chakra and also to your to your sexual chakra right and your your um navel chakra so and these are like the lower chakras which are about survival but they're also about finding your righteous place in the world feeling safe and secure here having this sense of security that everything is going to be fine 
and healing also all sexual experiences and all sexual interactions and cutting all cords. So um, any issues that you may be having, if you still have them, Divine Feminines, I would encourage you to um, to work on that, to heal that, to heal yourself or, or to look for help um, to heal these issues and it could be with uh, through energetic work through psychology through combined therapies whatever you feel most comfortable with your soul will guide you eventually to the to the best um healer or or therapist available for you but i think this is one of the um, like uh, current issues that the divine feminine could really um, like finish working on or finish healing because it's a very primal aspect of the divine feminine energy so for it to be complete for it to be whole for you to feel whole and complete and well in, on this earth it's very important that you have um a loving relationship to yourself to your body that you embrace all parts of yourself all parts of your body your skin everything right um and i think this is a crucial step um before coming into union and it's not to say that many of you are already in union and you're working this with your twins but for some it's a part of healing the inner child because this is all these coping mechanisms and all these um, redirecting of energy towards the body have to do with the feminine archetype and with the feminine figures in your life so especially with your mother so any mom issues any mother issues that you may have had in childhood I feel like this um, year especially we are like closing out closing out these false female templates we are purging all these things and it's really accelerating so if you can focus on that and see what parts of you may be still holding on to something or maybe you haven't forgiven certain things or maybe you still feel insecure about your body or you have um food addictions or you are not taking care of your body properly and it's not like it's in a harsh way and it's not um a judgment in any way believe me i've been there um and it's really about embracing ourselves as women and embracing embracing our bodies because throughout history so many times we were judged by them we were condemned just because of having a female body so it really goes deep into our cellular memory into our dna into our family lineages so if you can do a deep healing for that that would really assist you especially if you have any body issues body image eating disorders etc and I will also, I've been guided to do a meditation to heal eating disorders or any body image issues and to boost your, your confidence and your self-love and self-worth. So I will really gladly offer that on my channel as well. Coming up next, I will try to record it this week and i encourage you to use it if it helps to 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 heal yourself and if you need anything if you need any healings um energy healings or coaching or any assistance on your journey i'm here um you can go to my website and see what i offer and if you need anything else specific you can also ask me for, about that and i hope you have a wonderful night i hope you are doing well i send you a lot of love and healing energy and coming back to the masculine uh, subject about the dreams 
pay attention to your dreams if you can um make a journal and do the twin flame meditation and see what happens but know that you may be receiving a lot of contact and 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 you're working constantly with your twin on the energetic realms so i will try to leave an image that represents that the part of the physical body and how our souls actually reach to each other it doesn't matter where we are and it doesn't matter if we're not able to see that with our physical eyes so again it's about bringing this unity between the earth and and the spiritual and the heavens and between our bodies and this spiritual love between the spiritual love and the 3d love um, and it all comes back to union in the union of the polarities so i hope this helps you integrate and i hope this brings you some clarity and i will see you very soon okay many blessings and much love bye bye